Tomo News presents Intelligent Birds. Parrot missing for four years returns speaking Spanish. How does a parrot go from hello, Govna, to hola, amigo? Darren Chick's long lost, now bilingual pet parrot Nigel did just that. The African gray parrot originally spoke with Chick's polished British accent. Angus and Mash! Nigel disappeared from Chick's home in Torrance, California back in 2010. Julissa Sperling, owner of Happy Tales Dog Spa, found the bird and was charmed by the bird's ability to speak Spanish. Sperling contacted a local veterinarian who traced the microchipped bird back to its original owner. The Spanish-speaking parrot initially bit Chick Culero. and kept mentioning some guy named Larry. How Nigel survived and picked up Spanish remains a mystery. And who the heck is Larry? Estoy crudo. Bald Eagle Egg Hatches in Pennsylvania State Park For the first time in 250 years, a couple of bald eagles living in the Cadoras State Park in Hanover, Pennsylvania have welcomed a new eaglet into the family on March 25th. This is the second egg to hatch live on the webcam installed by the Pennsylvania Game Commission. The live streaming video has been online since December of last year, and over 640,000 people worldwide have tuned in to watch footage of the eagle's nest. Some people even watch the daily progress of the bald eagle family. To protect the eggs from the harsh winter, which has brought significant snowfall, one of the parents covered the nest with its body. Now that there are two eaglets in the nest, they will be competing for food. Only half of all eagles that hatch end up surviving long enough to leave the nest. May the best fledgling win. Dutch police train eagles to take down drones. Dutch police are tackling a high-tech problem with a low-tech solution, training eagles to take down drones. This video released by the force shows the majestic birds of prey learning to combat potential scourges of the sky. Although still in the testing phase, police said this new flying squad could be used to neutralize drones flown by criminals or terrorists. Earlier this month, a British think tank warned terrorists could use drones as airborne explosive devices or to attack world leaders. A Dutch police spokesman explained that the eagles see the drones as prey. Once it has plucked the device from the sky, an eagle will take it to a place where there are no other birds or people. The police will make a decision on whether to set up a dedicated anti-drone eagle unit within the next few months. The force said it was also examining several other ways to combat drones, including equipment to remotely take control of the devices. Pigeon caught smuggling phone into prison. A bird-brained smuggling mission was foiled thanks to two eagle-eyed guards at a Colombian prison. The maximum security Combita prison is home to a slew of criminals, some of whom sneak in goods using high-tech methods, like messenger pigeons. But when one tried to get into the prison on Tuesday with fresh deliveries, it was intercepted by a pair of prison guards. In a video, the guards can be seen snipping a tiny harness strapped to the pigeon's back before setting the bird free. One of them then pulls up the goods the pigeon was transporting, a small mobile phone and USB stick inside a plastic baggie. Prison officials don't know which jailbird the actual bird was heading for, but they are now investigating. It's not the first time inmates have used pigeons to smuggle items. There were similar incidents in 2009 and 2011, and the poor birds are known to have been used as contraband carriers and drug mules in other prisons as well. Man takes pet emu for a walk and calls him an asshole. This is Chorley, Lancashire, an idyllic market town in the northwest of England where men walk emus and every second word is f***ing f***ed or c***ed. 
What the f is that a bird from? You're a fing fing ostrich, you daft It's an emu! This video of a British chap strolling casually with his pet emu has gone viral on Twitter. And the emu apparently has a name. And a he. Oh, is it? <laughs> his name's Waters! You're f***ed up, you, mate. Didn't catch that? Don't worry, we didn't either. We reckon it's Juarez. And Juarez, according to the dude walking him, is an... You You Talk about giving a bird the bird. No, we don't think Juarez is that, but we do find him most amusing. Bird versus bird, Kestrel and Barnerl battle in a tree. A British bird watcher captured the following amazing footage of a nighttime slobber knocker between a barn owl and a kestrel. In the blue corner, we have the barn owl, cute in demeanor but an all out killing machine when cornered. And in the red corner, we have the kestrel, derived from the French word crochel, which means to rattle. The name says it all. The prize for our winner, a comfy, cozy nest. The fighters are ready. It's time for a bird fight. And both competitors come out swinging. It looks like the kestrel has brought some support at the entry. The two are sizing each other up, and it looks like the barn owl has the upper hand. The kestrel has the owl with its back to the wall. Wait, what's he doing? Is he trolling him? I don't know what they're saying, but that looks like some mean trash talk. And the owl uses its weight. The kestrel looks outmatched. The kestrel just left. It looks like we have a winner. Well done to the barn owl. Wait. But who is that? Wild ostrich chases cyclists in Cape Town. Keeps up at 31 miles per hour. These cyclists were in for the bike ride of their lives when a wild ostrich snuck out of the bushes and began racing behind them for about 100 seconds. Rather than bother to describe what's happening, which you can clearly make out for yourself, we've decided to spend the next minute listing interesting facts about this roadrunner, if you will. The ostrich is indeed the world's largest bird weighing in at up to 320 pounds and able to grow up to 9 feet tall. While they never evolved to develop the ability to fly, as you can see, they are mighty runners. At full speed, they can clock up to 43 miles per hour. They can only do this for short bursts, mind you, but when it comes to long distances, the ostrich can outlast even a cheetah, able to run at over 30 miles per hour for more than 10 miles. You may be wondering, if they aren't able to fly, what good are their wings? Believe it or not, their wings are used as rudders, playing a key role in their running ability, helping them change direction as they go. Their long, thin legs also aid in their speed, covering between 10 and 16 feet in a single bound. To better understand this, picture basketball legend Yao Ming standing up straight, and then imagine former NBA superstar Allen Iverson standing on his shoulders. That's an average stride for an ostrich. When it comes to their food selection, Ostriches eat both vegetables and meat, though they do prefer their greens, like leaves, roots, and seeds. From time to time, they've been known to snack on insects, lizards, snakes, and rodents. After all that running, most would grab a drink of water, but not the ostrich. While they may sip from a watering hole if they come across one, they receive all the H2O they need from the plants they feast on. At this point, it appears she's ditched the cyclists, probably running for some plant rehydration. Quite a workout. As the cameraman catches up to his fellow riders, they all must be thinking, what the hell was that? Well, good sirs, that was an ostrich. Video shows Condor hug man who saved his life. Condors are some of the biggest birds to roam the planet, and while they might appear menacing, turns out some can appreciate the kindness of the human heart, too. A few months ago in Argentina, a rancher named Edgardo spotted a baby condor in his backyard struggling with a leg injury, a few miles away from where condors nest. Wildlife authorities said the male condor was born in October and had likely lost his parents, so Edgardo took it upon himself to become the bird's family. He playfully named him Condorito, after the famous Chilean comic strip character. When he'd find dead animals on his property, Edgardo would leave them for Condorito, knowing the bird would need to learn to fend for himself if he was to return to the wild. 
This video clip shows the now massive Condorito coming to Edgardo when his name is called. Clearly, the two get along famously, and the bird must know who's responsible for keeping him alive. As you can see, Condorito really has made himself at home with Edgardo. Here he is enjoying a nice shower. The Buenos Aires Eco Park, formerly a zoo, wants to take the bird into their care, but Edgardo believes Condorito is more comfortable at his ranch. This past week, Condorito began flying, and one day soon, Edgardo hopes he'll take to the skies and never look back. But if the bird ever happens to drop in for more hugs, Edgardo will be waiting with open arms.